Welcome back to the class children. I am very happy to invite you all into this English class. In today's English class, we are going to do some book back exercises. Okay? So, actually we have completed all the prose and poems. We have completed everything. So, some exercises we are left without doing it. Shall we all do it? So, everyone take out your English book and turn to the page number 111 111 page number 111 okay okay in page number 111 till activity F we have completed so today we are going to do start with grammar fun grammar fun so here they have given two sentences. Read these sentences. There was an old fellow at the inn and we began chatting. We don't know the story behind that fish because we are new here. Have you noticed in these two sentences, two words are given different uh, in a different style like what to say have printed in a different font yes that is in first sentence and and in the second sentence because shall we all read it once again yes there was an old fellow at the inn and we began chatting we don't know the story behind that fish because we are new here words that join two or more words phrases or sentences are called conjunctions c o n j u e n c t i o n s conjunctions okay so uh, words that joins two or more words not only words it can be phrases it can be sentences so those words are said to be conjunctions okay what are conjunctions underline this Words that join two or more words. Okay, in the word, render a letter, render a mail or words, yo, in the phrases, yo, sentence, yo, in a kiddo, join panado. That is said to be conjunctions. Okay, so some common conjunctions are given here. And, A and D, and, but, because, although, until, so, and yet. These are some common conjunctions we use. Okay. See many times uh, when we are talking. So when we are reading book. We used to come across these words. And until because. Okay. So for what purpose we are using it. To join, join two or more words. Two or more phrases. Two or more sentences. For that purpose only we are using it. And it is said to be conjunctions. So activity G. Uh, here, fill in the blanks with suitable conjunctions from the brackets they have given. So, first one. Danish waited at the park gate. Dash, Meher arrived. So, what will be the answer? So, because until all these three are conjunctions only. But a suitable conjunction you must add. So, of course, what is the answer? Until. Okay. So, everyone you should write it in this blank. Until. Next page, page number 112. Okay. Ramnik was asleep. Dash, we entered the room quietly. So, because, but. So is the correct answer. Ramnik was asleep. So, we entered the room quietly. So, dear children, I am just... Uh, doing i'm just putting the tick mark but you have to write the answer on the blank okay next i won't participate in the quiz competition dash you do too and unless it so answer is unless next sarla bought the shawl dash it was defective although or but although Anish was ill. Dash, 
he did not miss his music lesson so what will be the answer but kavita cannot go to the museum with us dash she has guests at home so what will be the answer because she has guest at home okay so um see the activity h here join these pairs of sentences using the conjunctions although and or unless but or or while and write them in your notebook you may have to make some other changes too so this thing we will just uh, uh, do, do it in our uh, live class because uh, some changes we have to do it in all these sentences and we have to write it in your in our class work also so we'll move on to the next thing okay so now everyone take page number um, 114 114 everyone take page number 114 so here uh, tick the correct options they have given actually this exercise or belong to which lesson which poem sorry spring poem yes spring poem okay so in page number 114 first one which of these sounds is not mentioned in the poem so which sound is not mentioned of course baby's voice is there instrument music instrument cocks crowing everything is there a lamb's bleating only it is not there so mark it tick next step. what or whom does the poet refer to as peat and small so it refers to the girl What does the poet want to do? He wants to, yes, kiss the lamb's face. Okay. Next, how does the poet feel? Jubilant. Okay. Next, uh, come to play with words. Uh, write a word on each blank that rhymes with the other words. So now we are going to write the rhyming words. Rhyming. words okay so here rhyming words they have given now we have to write another rhyming word which to suit for these things okay first one flute mute so we'll write suit s u i t suit okay next delight night so we'll write fight f i g h t fight next boy joy will write toy very easily next birds words thirds thirds t h i r d yes thirds okay next sky Y. So what can we write? Shy. S H Y. Shy. Okay. Next, what is there? Ah, uh, lick. Pick. Lick. Pick. We'll write brick. Sorry. I'll write it with my pen. Brick. B R I C K. brick next nightingale dash dale so we'll write pale p a l e pale lamb ham so tram t r a m tram full bull pull p u l l pull next sweet feet shall we write wheat w h e a t wheat next face lace trace t r a c e trace cock sock rock r o c k rock okay children please complete these words answers in your book 
okay next so this thing grammar for uh, all next page page number 115 we will do it in our live class uh, please do these things in your book okay and don't forget to learn the spring poem because for your examination maybe this poem will come as a memory poem please go through everything don't waste your time thank you all thank you children